Delay after delay after delay, we finally got these babies right here, yo. Yo, what's good everybody? It's your boy Eddie and welcome back to the channel and I hope you all are having a wonderful day. And for today's video, we have a super fire release, but it's also very simple at the same time. And if you haven't seen by the thumbnail already, we have none other than the Drake Nocta Air Force Ones, also known as the Love You Forever Air Force Ones. So I definitely think it's a super dope and clean shoe. Obviously, if you already have a pair of all white ups, some people may not be interested at this at all, but there are some details that kind of justify the price tag. Although I do think they could have like made it like a 130 mark as opposed to a 160 retail, but we'll get into that into the details of the shoe. So first, when we look at the box, you can see that it's very minimalistic, but also gives that kind of luxury vibe. And what I really like about it is the fact that although it says Nike Air Force One, it does have the top Title, love you forever and script right there and it's in gold and then we also have at the bottom of the box in association with Nocta and if you guys already didn't know Nocta is basically a collaboration between Nike and Drake and that's this kind of brand that they created together as opposed to just being a collaboration on like a specific sneaker Nocta is its own independent brand kind of like how Jordan was with Nike at first and then it kind of made a Jordan brand as itself so not as big as Jordan brand but it's kind of like the same concept and when we look at this side of the box you can see the CL as well as the AWR and it reads as Air Force Force One Low SP and the colorway shown is white, white, white cobalt tint and then of course I went through the size in a size 8. Just a quick tip on sizing, a lot of people say to go half a size down and I think those are people who are narrow footed. I'm semi wide footed so I went with a true to size size 8 and it definitely fits me perfectly. If I went a half size down I think it would be like a little bit tight but then there's also room for the fact that the shoe will break in and kind of stretch out a little bit but I like how it feels right now so I think going with a true to size 8 for me works best but for most people they recommend going a half size down on Air Force Ones. And then when we actually open the lid you can see that we have this kind of premium non and Nike wax tissue paper. Of course, the brand is made to be minimalistic, so we don't have a lot of things going on, but we do have like a gold Nike check right there. And then we have the Swords of Revealing Light, which I think on the product details, they actually call it the North Star. So we have three North Stars right there. And then once we open that, you just have your standard wax tissue paper right there. So nothing too extra. And that's gonna conclude the details of the box. Now when we go into the history of this shoe, man. So the history of this shoe is actually as simple as the colorway shown on it. So Drake wanted to essentially give a tribute to his mother for reading him the book love you forever and that's exactly why the title of this sneaker is called love you forever not the air force ones and then if you guys haven't seen on his instagram he posted an actual like custom version of the not the air force ones or maybe the friends and family version of it with three diamonds on the lateral side right here and he also wrote a tribute letter to his mother stating for my mother your perennial care and nurturing is never lost in me this book is a time capsule of our love i long for the days when it was this simple aubrey so again it's just a nice beautiful simple tribute to his mother and I'm actually happy that this sneaker is going to be available for everyone. I'm sure people love all white Air Force Ones already. And just the small little details, which I'll get into in a second, is just a nice addition to it. And I really like it a lot. I don't think it's better than the all white Knox does, but that's just because it's a whole new silhouette. This is something that we've seen every day and it's easily accessible. But we have those little nice and beautiful minimalistic details that actually gives this shoe that kind of like more premium hit to it. So now guys, what's interesting to note about this shoe is the fact that we've actually seen this maybe almost two years ago now. We've seen pictures of the samples and all that type of stuff. And there was actually a point in time where people actually was saying that this shoe was completely canned due to the fact that on the outsole of the sneakers, instead of having the stars on like this toe cap area, it's actually hearts kind of like paying tribute to that certified lover boy detail. And it was said that Nike was basically saying that this new mold is going to be hard to make. Believe it or not, it actually costs a lot of money to create a whole new mold from scratch. So I actually did hit these on the Nocta drop. However, it hasn't shipped yet. And since this sneaker came out today, I definitely wanted to make sure that I gave you guys a review today as well. So big shout out to all the right for having these sneakers in stock and when I just went in I was able to pick it up but something else to note about the knock the drop before I continue is the fact that it actually did come with the Robert Munch love you forever book and I think that's just a really dope detail but instead of having it be the regular Robert Munch love you forever book it actually has a Nike logo on it with the baby holding it and I think that's just a super fire detail again super minimalistic and not like a huge change but it's just the simple things that Drake does or his design team does that makes these simple minimalistic things look super clean and it just adds value to that sneaker or that book or that detail 
detail. So now guys, let's just get right into the details of the shoe. So now starting off on the toe box, you can see that we have an all white toe box. And then what's really interesting about this is the fact that they actually gave it a different pattern than the standard Air Force Ones. It's not a huge difference, but it's just a detail to note right there. When we move up, you can see that we have the standard Air Force One emblem right there. Then when we look at the laces, we have our standard all white laces. And once we go onto the top of the tongue, you can see that we have that Nike Air Force One in all white, which again is standard to all the Air Force Ones. But what's different about this tongue is the fact that we actually have a leather tongue instead of that kind of like nylon or mesh tongue. And then when we move on to the lateral side of the shoe, again, you can see that we just have that all white upper right there. So on the quarter panel, the Nike check and all of that, we do have it in this all white leather. Though I have to say that it's definitely in a more premium material. It has that kind of like tumble to it, but it's not too tumbled. And it just feels very right to the touch, man. I think it's really, really good. Then when we move into the back heel area now, you can see that we have that standard Air Force One logo right there and a kind of silver stitching. And then when we move on to the medial side, it pretty much follows suit as a lateral side. And then now in focusing on the midsole, this is where things kind of change. So again, we do have the standard all white midsole. However, instead of having the Air logo right here, we do have that Love You Forever and script right there, which I think looks really clean. But when we move on to the medial side now, we actually have the Air logo right here. So it's kind of like switch, but what's dope about that is that on the lateral and medial sides, you definitely get two different things and two different perspectives, which again, I think looks really good. Then when we look at the outsole of the shoe, you guys can pretty much see that it has a standard Air Force One traction pattern. But what's different about this, as I mentioned in the history of the shoe, is the fact that when you look at the toe cap area, you can actually see like hundreds of mini hearts, which again, follows into that certified lover boy detail. And I think that's really dope. So in the regular Air Force Ones, we do have stars, but we do have hearts on this detail. And that again was one of the biggest issues that Nike was having with production and all that type of stuff. But I'm happy that they were able to follow through with it and give us that detail. Also, one more thing to note is the fact that the lining inside the tongue as well as the ankle padding area is all white leather. So again, just more comfort right there. And instead of having that kind of like cotton plush feel, we do have that more comfortable leather feel. And I think that's really dope. And the final thing to note is the fact that we do have that standard knock the insole. So we do have that kind of cobalt tint blue insole right there. And then we also have the knock the detailing that's right there. And pretty much on the left shoe, the same thing follows suit other than the fact that we have two different accessories accessories and usually the accessories are always laces but we do have a more premium lace which is an all white with silver metal tips which I think looks really dope and then we have these beads right here man and I think this is so dope because my favorite color is blue so I do love the fact that it's in that color and it's going to make the shoe pop adds a little detail to it and I think this has a full run of the alphabet as well as the full number so I think it goes from zero through nine as well so if you have like a first or last name that has the same letters within it you're not going to be able to like duplicate that but for the glow zeus name I'm definitely going to be able to add that on both sides of the shoe so I have the glo maybe even add a w on the right shoe and then add the zeus on the left shoe and yeah guys that's just one of the final details but one more really really nice detail that I like about the shoe is the fact that on this left shoe right here we do have our north stars or swords of revealing light as I like to call it on the ankle area and again it's just a super small detail but I just love things that are minimalistic as I said before I think the knock the hot steps are one of the best silhouettes of this year it's something different but as a kind of like luxurious vibe to it and I just love that and I think this Air Force One even though it's something that we have seen before is super dope as well but if I had to choose out of the two of them I would definitely go with the hot steps and yeah guys that's pretty much going to conclude the details and the history of the shoe so now let's get right into this own full look all right Out. So that's pretty much going to conclude the review as well as the awful look and I hope you guys enjoyed this video as much as I did making it for y'all I definitely think that Drake has a hit with this sneaker on the street Everybody in New York if you from the hood you already wear Air Force Ones, especially the all-white joints So with this take on it it being Drake one of the most popular celebrities in the world as well as having like the beads and all that type of stuff I think that really like resonates being from Brooklyn and it just adds that kind of like super luxurious vibe to it as well I do think that the price tag could have been like pushed down to maybe like 130 to make it fair for everyone. But if you're in a place with no tax, I'm pretty sure you're loving it. And yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Let me know what you think about this sneaker in the comment section down below. And other than that, y'all, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Share with your friends and family and all that. And just keep doing what y'all doing to help put your YouTube algorithms and help my channel grow. 
Guys, as I mentioned in my previous video, we are basically at the 1400 mark. So please share with your friends and family to make sure that we hit that before the end of the year. And other than that, y'all, I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.